Hello my people, welcome to another video. I am coming at you live with some brand new and exclusive goddamn Power World. I've been seeing this goddamn game everywhere, so I had to give it a go, you know me. Everything I've heard about it is saying it's Pokemon with guns and sort of like Ark Survival Evolved sort-esque, you know, survival game. And I was dying to goddamn play it. And now let me tell you, it lived up to the hype. Of course the island we're playing on is none other than the county of Goggleshire. And normally in games I try to make the guy look as disgusting as possible, but for today, I was feeling, you know what, I'll I'll do a lookalike. I'll try and make him look like me. But all Jeff Dahmer lookalikes are still in prison, so I had to go with this. Now, looking back, I still cannot see anywhere a place to name your character. So I'm stuck with the name Player882 for some reason. I might get it tattooed on my left nip. Anyway, we got three freaks standing over us like we're a drunk girl at a goddamn party or something. And they're just typical 18-year-old absolute perverted nonces just staring at me like I'm some sort of goddamn chicken wing. We wake up on a beach. Um, I, I don't know if all the maps are the same. I would assume it's not a randomly generated seed, but at the same time, I do not have a goddamn Scooby. I'm playing this on my ones. I haven't played it with any others. I've done a one and done save. Do you know what I mean? If you asked me what to expect heading into this, I 100% wouldn't have guessed that I'd be bonking a cute little pink cat on the head with a baseball bat to then rob it of its freedom. But that's exactly what happened. All the powers you catch essentially turn into your slaves. Like, it's... It's Pokemon, right? If Pokemon had a dark sense of humor. It's absolute. All these pals I'm catching right now, they're not pals. They are my absolute biatches. You'll see in a bit, I'm literally just collecting these people. So I have them do my work for me whilst I go out and about and rob more of their friends of their freedom to make them do more of my work. Let me tell you now, I never thought these words would come out of my goddamn mouth, but it never felt so good being a slave owner. Oh my God. Anyway, I found a pretty little spot over here to set up my base. I thought, you know what? There's a big Donny over there, but he seems friendly. He doesn't seem to attack me. It's flat. He's got the natural surroundings, you know, protecting me so I don't need to reinforce from behind. Got a little lake to the side. Absolutely photogenic settings here. Oh, and uh, excuse my voice. I currently have the, uh, the good old Rona. You know, I evaded it for four years years and it decided to catch me this year I, I honestly feel like i'm one of the pals in this game the way it's just hunting me down beating me with a bat and just ugh, taking away my freedom it's disgusting right now you could say i'm doing the so-called tutorial of this game in the top right there is it uh, literally says tutorial i've only just noticed that but there's quests it gives you to do to almost understand what you're meant to be doing to the game and you know what i've never had such a hands-off approach to a tutorial and i'll be honest i absolutely adored it it's something i've never seen before in a video a game just giving you sort of objectives like that they don't tell you how to move or anything i think it's worked out really well for now look at this look at this i've picked up one of my pets and this it's a flame my pet is a flamethrower I thought I'd try to smack this big Donny. Level 16 normally isn't that high a level. I tell you now, he absolutely walloped my bum hole a couple times on the trot here. But dying in this game, you do lose your items, but it doesn't feel that, that big a deal. And I'm loving it. It feels like, like, you know, in other survival games, take Minecraft, for example. If you die and lose your loot, that's like rage worthy quitting death, you know. But in this game, a death just seems like a minor inconvenience that doesn't actually have that big a deal. And some might say, oh, you know, it's a bad thing. You know, why would you care about dying? You still do care about dying because it's still annoying to run all that way. The traveling is long if you don't have the right mount, which you only get later on. But it's not that do or die, you know, end or be all if you do die. And I love that in a survival game, which is absolutely goddamn fabulous for me. Because as you can see here, I, as I said, I was getting my booty spanked by this goddamn green dinosaur ho 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 green giant type even this goddamn alpaca murked the scene with me i don't know what it is about this game out of other survival games i have died more on this than any other survival game and yes even though the traveling is long when you're traveling there's just so much you want to do that it, it, it's long but it doesn't seem long do you know what i mean it's constantly grabbing your attention it's been done absolutely beautifully and yes you saw that correctly you can capture humans on this game you can actually take part in a human slave trade not that i'm saying you should i'm not saying you should i don't i'm not condoning it but it doesn't mean i haven't got a couple humans you know in balls at my disposal now getting into the story i don't know what's going on and i don't care i haven't been focusing 
on the story elements. I just want to improve my gear. That's just me. And I've got about six hours gameplay under my belt from day one. And I didn't get bored of not doing the story. They do seem to have these leaders that play a part in the story. I don't know what they're meant to play a part, but I found a leader and I defeated it. Yes, I may have found an exploit in the game to defeat it. It had 30k health, all right? I was shitting myself. I thought that you could run away. You can't. Once you're in these dungeons, you are stuck, right? I tried to run. I couldn't, so I exploited the game. But you can boo me all you want, right? I wanted to win. Now on to the combat. It is buttery smooth. I don't even think there's been any AAA games within the last three years that I could name to you right now that run as smoothly as this game does. The animations are beautiful. There's no frame rate droppage that I've experienced yet. Mobility is absolutely gorgeously smooth. And on top of that, even if you have the exact same pals as your friend, they can have different moves, different abilities. You know, they could be a shiny, they could be a boss, that you're never gonna run the same moveset as someone else. And a lot of the time when it comes to, you know, doing too much in games, I would prefer games to do less and have it done perfectly than more. But this has got the goddamn absolute best of both the world. Best of both worlds. It has got so much variety in the combat. You can use your pals. You can use your own weapons. Mate, you can ride your pals. You can use them as guns. It is an absolute blast. Now on to some cons. End game content. And this, with the exception of a couple bugs with the human enemy spawning in during raids, is something I'm slightly concerned about but can't make an educated conclusion until I've got there myself. But it is that I am worried of how much content there is after you have done the main things in the game. As far as the survival element, I can't see how that in and of itself will keep people playing as the progression and always wanting the next thing, the better pal, the better gear, the better house, the better guns, the better armor is one of the main attractions of this game. And in the state it currently stands in, I don't see that lasting long with two to four player co-op servers, which is the state of the games in at the moment. However, it is very early days and I'm sure they have plans on extending the support of how many people can play on an individual server and also introducing PvP. I'm not getting paid for this video. As you can see, I'm a very small channel. All right, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. There's no biasy here. And if you want my honest opinion, if you're thinking of getting the game, goddamn get it. Look, I'm not saying go out of your way and spend 30 quid on the game. Buy the Xbox Games Pass, all right? If you haven't already, if you haven't and you've got an Xbox or PC, what are you doing? There's so many good games on there and it's literally like a fiver a month. It's incredible. And drop a comment below if you'd be interested in me making a video of the absolute hidden gems that are in that xbox game pass because even if you cancel the game pass after your free trial or after a month it is well worth playing this game even if it is just for two weeks if you don't like your typical build your base survival games and i'm sorry to say this game isn't for you but if you do and you like games such as minecraft and R, then i'm telling you now you will love this game there's even dungeons on it for crying out loud with bosses which yes you can catch as well I am yet to run into an NPC that is not catchable. Let me repeat that. There hasn't been one enemy friendly whatever on this game as of yet, even if you can speak to them, that you have not been able to throw a ball at and make it your slave. Actually, I take it back. This is the other issue I have about the game. Why am I getting raided by level 27 Relaxosauruses, right, that came through, trolloped my base, killed me nine times, ate my food and left. In all serious, so let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. And if it's your first time seeing or hearing my face, you're not really seeing it at the moment. I look like absolute shite. I've barely got out of bed. Then goddamn, drop us a subscribe. It does the world for me. And it's just a cheeky little click of a button for you. It doesn't cost anything. And I'll even make you a deal. If I stop providing content you enjoy, you can unsubscribe at any time. Also for free. But that's me for now. And take care of yourself. You have been beautiful and I've been Brano. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.